In this video, we will cover some of the key features of ShipHero cycle count, like creating and assigning users, tracking progress of the cycle count on the dashboard, mobile and scan base counts, dynamic cycle creation based on location, products or tags, and additional settings. Let's get started. First, we'll show you the different users, roles, and permissions related to cycle counts. From users and roles within ShipHero, select roles from the top to add cycle count permissions to a specific role, whether that be a picker, packer, replenishment, or receiving staff member. The two options are for dashboard and mobile. Dashboard is an overview of all cycle counts, the progress, and reports for them. Choosing mobile will allow the user to perform a cycle count in the warehouse. Each has a view, create, edit, and delete checkbox to enable different levels of permissions for each role. Next, we'll check out our general settings for cycle count. To do this, click on your profile photo and name, and then settings. On the right-hand side, you'll see settings for cycle counts. There's several different options for you here that you can enable or disable based on your preferences for managing your cycle counts. If blind count is enabled, users won't see the expected amount while counting. If recount discrepancies is enabled, as soon as a user counts an item with unit discrepancies, ShipHero will flag this SKU as a recount. Additional counts will be completed until there are two consecutive counts with matching discrepancies. If flag items with lot discrepancies is enabled, ShipHero will flag this if someone cycle counting notices there are multiple lots in the same location. Flag for recount items that were unexpectedly found in a location is enabled. ShipHero will flag this if someone cycle counting notices a different item than what was expected in that location. For example, if you find a red shirt instead of a blue shirt. Let's jump over to the cycle count dashboard to check out some of the cycle counts we've already created and create a new one. Here you can see all the cycle counts that I've created in a quick overview of the progress so far on each. Let's create a new cycle count by clicking Create Cycle Count in the top right-hand corner. You'll see we have a few options for the count, such as if we want to create the count based on locations, items, or items flagged for recount. In this example, we will create a count based on items we have tagged as high-velocity items or items that usually sell out fast. We have a big sale next week, so we want to make sure that our counts are accurate. We can choose our settings for this particular count, such as naming the count, selecting the warehouse, assigning users to the count, setting a due date, and specifying item parameters, like the high velocity tag. You can also choose to exclude certain items. Now that the cycle count is created, warehouse staff that were assigned permissions to view and perform cycle counts will be able to begin the process. For them, this looks much like picking with Ship Bureau, and it's just as easy. They'll be sent to each location to count the items assigned there. They'll be able to scan each item barcode or case barcodes to ensure accuracy. If blind count is enabled, they won't know the expected number as they're counting. However, if they do save their count and there is a discrepancy, Ship Hero will provide a warning that the count did not match. This gives the person counting an opportunity to check and see if they missed a box or item. While all this is happening, the manager can check in on the dashboard at any time to see how the cycle counts are progressing and if there are any discrepancies or issues. From this view, you can see a lot of helpful information like due dates, who created the cycle count, when it was created, and any activity or time tracked on the count already. You'll also be able to see what was counted when, by who, and if there was any discrepancies in the inventory. You can also edit cycle counts after they've been created. This includes changing name, due dates, assigning an additional user, or adding items or locations to the count. ShipHero cycle count feature is a powerful tool that can help keep your inventory accurate and keep your warehouse operations running smoothly. For a deep dive into everything about Ship Hero Cycle Count, check out our full length feature walkthrough or visit our support knowledge base. And don't forget to subscribe for more content on how to use Ship Hero's warehouse management software. Have fun and be bold.